My family, Prince Harry is attending high profile meetings. And my family, we love to see this. We love to see this. We love to see this. Now my family, you know, basically today on October 30th, 2024, the Invictus Games Foundation briefed the NATO military committee at NATO headquarters on the role of the Invictus Games in supporting wounded, injured, and sick service members and veterans. My family, you know what? I remember that after Prince Harry stepped back as a senior member of the royal family. You know, Paris Courtiers was saying that world leaders won't want to meet him. Prince Harry will not be in, you know, important, you know, rooms full of, uh, will not be sitting in important rooms with my family, highly influential leaders. My family, look what's happening. Look what's happening. My family, we have seen Harry addressing the United Nations. My family, we have we are now even seeing Prince Harry right now as we speak. My family addressing top military officials, my family at NATO. We are seeing Prince Harry addressing top military officials at NATO. My family, wow. Wow, wow, wow. We have seen Prince Harry and Meghan being invited to countries like Nigeria, Colombia to come over and visit. My family, the smear campaign is failing. The smear campaign is failing. The smear campaign is failing. And my family, what also we've been able to see is that, um, you know, Prince Harry, my family, you know, I believe at his home in Motesito, in one of my family, the rooms, is a picture of my family from, of Harry and Meghan's, my family, you know, wedding photograph. And my family, it is just beautiful. Just beautiful. And my family, I love to see this. I love to see this. I love to see this so much. These are, these are important moments in both Harry and Meghan's lives, which they will forever cherish. And my family, we love to see this. We love to see this so, so much. We love to see this so much. Now, my family, so Prince Harry addressed the military committee via BTC with a delegation attending the meeting in person. And my family, the delegation included Dominic Reed, the chief executive of Invictus, Lord Allen, Chancellor of the Board of Trustees and Richard Smith, the Deputy Chief Executive Officer. And my family, this delegation briefed the military committee on the breadth and development of the Invitus program and the progress it is making to expand the scope of its mission. And the core purpose of Invictus is to support the recovery and rehabilitation of wounded, injured, and sick service members through sport and adventure. And my family, the Invictus Games Foundation is working to continue establishing a global community where rehabilitation and recovery are better enabled and understood. I love it. I love it. And my family, in each and every single Invitus Games, we are seeing how my family, it is growing, how it is expanding. And my family, I love what I am seeing. I love what I am seeing. I love what I am seeing. And my family, the Invitus Games is my family. It is Harry's creation. You know, I've been hearing some carnival of so-called experts saying that somehow, you know, Harry is more like a co-founder. He did not build it on it by himself. My family, 
Harry is the founder. And if there is a co-founder, it is still Harry. My family, nobody else. Because I can see that Wikimedia are trying to claim that William also was part of building or creating the Invitas games. My family, that is not the case. That is not the case. And we are not going to allow Prince William. To my family, you know, latch on to Harry's successes. We are not going to allow that. You know? Now, my family, as I continue with my family, what is being uh, said. Now, um, so here's how the Invitas Games is aiming to establish a global community. They're aiming to do that through the delivery of the Invitas Games taking place in different host cities every two years around the globe, but also through a multi layered program beyond the games which aims to build a network amongst global wounded injured and sick veterans and promote advocacy of invictors and uh, my family now meeting with my family people who represent the invictors games foundation this meeting provided a platform for the nato Military Committee to explore and learn how allied nations can establish or develop a relationship with the Invictus Games. <laughs> In my family, there's a reason why UK media want Prince Harry to step back from his role, my family, with the Invictus Games. Because Everyone can see the amazing success, my family, that uh, my family is the Invitas Games that Harry himself built. That is Harry's legacy, my family. In terms of work, of what Harry has achieved, my family founding, creating the Invitas Games, and my family ensuring it grows to my family how it is today. My family. Harry has done tremendously well, tremendously well. And I'm so proud of Harry and my family also, you know, the team also, my family, who are behind the Invitas Games. My family, the veterans, you know, the families, I am so proud of what they're doing. They're doing tremendously well, tremendously well, my family, you know? And clearly, my family, the Invitas Games will keep on growing and my family, Harry is going nowhere. He is the one who my family created the Invitas Games and nobody is going to take that away from him. Nobody. You know? My family, now Admiral Bauer, emphasized the importance of protecting allied wounded servicemen and women, veterans and their families. He also highlighted the invaluable support and hope that the Invitas Games you know, foundation provides to the unconquerable souls of inspirational wounded, injured, and sick service members and veterans. And my family, he says in a quote, I believe that the work of the In Victors Games Foundation to be very important. And it strikes at the heart of our shared values as military personnel. And Admiral Bauer conveyed the power of the Invictus Games Foundation in reaching far beyond the games themselves, changing and sometimes even saving the lives of both the wounded soldiers and their families. Wow. You know? Wow. And today's middle committee session follows up a meeting between the chair of the middle committee. Admiral Rob Bauer and Prince Harry in May 2024, where Admiral Bauer attended a service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral in London. When even Charles himself, who is the commander in chief of the armed forces, missed my family. However, my family, 
you know, Admiral Robauer. Admiral Robauer was there. And my family, he appreciates the amazing work that the Invictus Games does and the lives that my family it touches. You know, my family, it is clear that whatever Harry and Meghan partake in, my family, it is blessed. And my family, Harry and Meghan, will continue being blessed because they are amazing, wonderful human beings. They are amazing, amazing people, my family. I do love that my family in Harry's, um, you know, the room where Harry was, my family recording this video from my family, whereby this, uh, you know, my family, Harry was attending this meeting from. I do love seeing that picture of my family, you know, taken from Harry and Meghan's wedding. Those are moments that one can never forget. And right now we are seeing how UK media are so invested in doing everything in their power, even more than usual, in doing everything in their power to try and destroy, you know, Harry and Meghan's marriage, ruin their lives. And despite all the lies that UK media spread about Harry and Meghan and their marriage, I believe that Harry and Meghan will continue supporting each other even more in the face of all these attacks which have sadly been fully approved by William and Charles against Harry and Meghan. Despite that, Harry and Meghan will continue to stand because they are amazing human beings, my family. And I hope Harry and Meghan know just how much you love them and how much they are so loved and my family so adored, my family. Now, my family, in response to my family, what has uh, you know, been said, my family, about this meeting, Someone said this, you know, hashtag Prince Harry. I can see a wedding photo there of basically the family, you know, Harry and Meghan. And my family, honestly, you can forget Harry and Meghan's amazing wedding. Harry and Meghan faced so much hurdles in, in their love. They went through so much. You know, I always say that what Harry and Meghan have endured, all the abuse, the hounding, harassment, the attacks, what they have endured, is enough to break any couple. But my family, Harry and Meghan's love is so strong and I hope it continues being strong and it continues growing from strength to strength each and every single day. You know, because Harry and Meghan have a wonderful love story. They have been through so much and though they can thin, they always support each other and may they continue supporting each other no matter what. May that never ever change. I love how Prince Harry, for example, loves Meghan my family, you know, so publicly. He doesn't hide him, family. He doesn't hide it. He shows us, my family, through actions, through, you know, going to court to fight to protect Megan, Archie, Lilibet. Harry shows us how much he loves and adores his family. And I love that. I love that. I love that. You know, it shows you a lot of what Harry, you know, will do for his family and clearly he'll do anything in this world to protect his wonderful lovely family you know my family even someone called nearly said that prince harry is always working for veterans and that's why we love the people's prince you know where is harry megan they show up and do good and that's what they'll always keep on doing showing up and doing good and my family May they know that we love them and we fully support them 100%. My family, someone else said this. Uh, Harry looks to be at home where he and his wife live. LOL. Hashtag in Victor's Games 2025. You know, UK media have been spreading lies that Harry and Meghan are living separate lives. They're divorcing. That is the biggest desire of the UK media. I've always said that one of the purpose of this entire smear campaign waged against Harry Meghan has always been meant to break them apart, to destroy Harry Meghan's relationship with my family. However, I've also said that I believe with every single attack, with every single attack on Harry and Meghan's marriage from the media, on orders of William and Charles, Harry and Meghan, I believe, will even protect what they have even more. You know, that's what I believe. And I hope that that's what they'll always keep on doing, protecting each other because what they have is special. 
and they must never ever allow anybody to come in between them my family i find that very very my family important you know so my family prince harry shows up and uh does good someone that look at our prince harry here briefing nato the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone to that palace courtier to that senior role who i believe is prince william and Ch my family charles of course who thought that um you know they can deem harry and megan's light well look what's happening right now despite all these years of this constant attacks towards both harry and megan more so megan look at them wherever they go my family doors are being opened for harry and megan while leaders want to sit down and wine and dine with harry and megan no matter how many lies UK media have told about Harry and Meghan on behalf of William and Charles. Harry and Meghan are still standing. And my family, I love it. 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 You know? My family, someone said that Harry and Meghan have this amazing wedding photo, you know, in one of their rooms. I want a better picture quality to see what the other pictures, you know, my family are there. And my family, you know, first of all, I just love this uh, wonderful, my family pictures. And um, this picture of Harry and Meghan's wedding symbolizes so much. Harry and Meghan have gone through so much. And through it all, they've always supported each other. And my family, I love it so much. I love how Harry and Meghan are supporting each other, my family. And may God bless them immensely. And so right now, I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. May God bless Harry, Meganachi, and also Lily Bedana and Doria Ragland. I am sure you're happy to see Prince Harry, my family, you know, and also that amazing wedding photo that Prince Harry, my family, always keeps with him. My family, those are special, wonderful moments that I know that Harry and Meghan are never going to forget. They've been through so much. We know that William did everything in his power to try and stop Harry and Meghan's wedding. Despite that, my family, look at Harry and Meghan. They are still together. No matter the lies that took media and the farm have been spreading about Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan are together. And I hope that, once again, Harry and Meghan remain and stay married forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. May the farm, William and Charles, never ever succeed in destroying the life of the spear. For many years, the farm has have been used to destroying the spare's life from Margaret to Prince Andrew. But this time in history, they will not succeed in destroying Prince Harry's life. They will not succeed in destroying Prince Harry's marriage. They will not succeed in messing up Archie and Lily's lives, my family. You know, and uh, let's keep on praying for him again. I'd, I'd encourage you all to please keep on praying for Harry and Meghan. And that, you know, my family, in every single, you know, venture that Harry and Meghan partake in, my family, may it always be a huge success. May it always be, my family, a huge success. You know, my family loves seeing Harry doing good. And my family also having these powerful connections, my family. It's amazing. It's amazing to see. It's amazing to see, you know. My family, even someone said that, you know, one minute Harry's at the UN, the next he's addressing NATO. You know, we love a booked and busy prince advocating for active and disabled military service personnel who will always be a cause close to Harry's heart. And my family, Harry is doing such a good job, uh, such a good, good job. And may God bless him so much. And um, my family, right now, I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. May God bless each and every single one of you. And stay tuned to this video. And may no weapon from the Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lilifet, Diana, ever prosper. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts 
for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video, leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.